Hi guys, welcome to She's Nursery and I'm out here again with the lettuce um, in the garden. Lots has been growing which is really good. Um, we have had a wet patch and now it's really warm and sunny uh, which is uh, it's, uh, an added bonus. But I know, uh, uh, shoot. <laughs> I know that I haven't managed to carry on with this series. I did know I was going to do it but I wasn't sure when. But now is the perfect time uh, because I uh, had a stall at Denmark Farm, which is a, a co conservation center um, all about wildlife and gardening. And I went there to sell some plants. And I'm just going to tell you how you should sell your plants at like a car boot sale or something, or if like another place has an open day and you can just go around or some gardening show or festival. So I'll be sharing with you my uh, successful tactic that worked. Um, and it should work with all of you as well. So it had been a while since I last sold some plants and I went there and I had about, I don't know, 70, 60 to 70 plants, uh, black currants, red currants, white currants and gooseberries, um, my uh, soft fruit bushes and so I went there and I'm just going to tell you basically what happened at the first half and what happened in the second half and how my sales completely changed. So first thing was, um, all through the day there wasn't many people, I'd say about 300, 2 to 300 altogether, um, maybe a bit less than that, but there weren't too many people and I had to try and think of a tactic um, to get people to start growing. So I first got there, I made a few sales um, this is just sitting down, um, waiting for people to come down and uh, look at my stall. Uh, I was with another, by another great stall who also sold like other plants, but luckily they weren't the same. Um, so I was, we were like telling each other to go check out each other's stalls. And um, I had, just before the day opened, a couple of people who already set up stalls came and came to buy some produce off me. And then it started about, I think it was 11, and I made another sale about 10 past 11 then, and that was somebody who brought a black currant bush off me for three pounds. And yeah, so I was quite happy. And then disaster struck. I was, I didn't make a sale for two hours because everybody, I will tell you how well it worked, because it did go well in the end. But it's just everybody, um, my stall was a bit out of the way, it was like to the side and the other stall was just by uh, the cafe where people going in and out to have some food. So I, I was getting more and more depressed because I hadn't made a single sale in two hours and I was just um, standing there with my flask of coffee, um, trying to look happy. Um, then I suddenly thought, come on, I must do something because I made £50 the other year and that's about something like ninety dollars if I get it right fifty pounds is around about ninety dollars uh, mark and I was just thinking no way I've only got two hours left and how on earth am I gonna make um, so much money so I was on about um, I'd already made about ten pounds then and I just wasn't um, very happy so I used, everybody was there's like a wall here and everybody was walking um, beside the wall. I was here, and then the uh, other parts of the cafe was here. So, as between the two, a few people would just walk between the two and just look at my plants. Um, but then I suddenly th um, had the guts to just go, um, "Hey there, would you be interested in some soft fruits?" And that was my magic words that worked. Um, basically, all that I did it was about. Um, I don't know, 20 past 1 now, 20 past 1, I hadn't made a sale for 2 hours, and I've from 20 past 1 to 3 o'clock, and I just thought, why not just ask people, instead of letting them look, so, um, this probably isn't the politest thing to do, um, uh, but I think lots of people, um, what the problem is, is that people are quite shy, and if they don't get the word out, it then just doesn't, um, they can't make as many sales as they hope to. So instead of just like sitting down, um, I thought, 
why why don't I just bring people bring the customers to me instead of the cus instead of um, no I go into the customers instead of the customers going to me uh, so they were just walking past and I would just uh, go and say hi there would you be interested in some soft fruit and they said oh um, that would be lovely what have you got so I said white currants red currants black currants and gooseberries and they would come have a look and then they would buy stuff it was amazing I uh, averaging about uh, five five-ish pounds um, for every sale some people like spent ten pounds and others spent uh, like two pounds um, two pounds fifty because I had like other plants like my spirea cuttings that I did last summer um, those sold really quickly actually um, they were um, yeah those sold really quickly so I will do definitely do those another year so basically I would just say hi there are you interested in some soft fruit then they would come and they would look around and what this I found also the second most important thing is to say something interesting and um, which will actually push them to buy because a, a couple of people were like oh I've got black currants already and I was like have you got white currants? And they said, yeah, and then have, have you got red currants? Um, I mean, have they got white currants? No. Have they got red currants? No. And, but they said they had plenty of currants. And they didn't actually know that they're actually really different tasting things. So I went, I came up with this method of uh, giving some really good information about red currants, which uh, made me virtually sold out. I sold 18 plants out of my 20 plants and that's not bad considering uh, how little people were there and most of them were just up the top having guided walk so I was quite impressed so I would also say about 75% of the people I asked if they were interested in soft fruit that would make them buy it compared to about 10% of people just walking past and that's a massive step um, in, as a plant nursery like having a business, you just, like without people, you could lose 65% of your money instead of just asking them, and they'll be much more interested. Uh, it's because, like I said, people are more shy with that, and so it gives them great detail. I said, um, we grow red currants in the shade at home, which is true. We, the red currants, even though they are in the shade, they're still really sweet. And I'm selling exactly the same plants, which grow in this shade just over that way, and um, they're really sweet. Um, we have uh, massive sycamore trees, about five of them in the background, and yeah, there's really little light. But uh, red currants grow, grow and grew um, really well in the shade, and they're really sweet. Great for like. Uh, uh, falls and crumbles. We even made red currant jam, red currant and strawberry jam, or red currant and raspberry, which was really nice. So I just told them, well, t like, oh, did you know that red currants are actually really good at growing in the shade, and they're really sweet, and that would make them think, yeah, that that's a good idea, because like lots of black currants are quite sort of acidic, but if they got something that could grow in, grow in the shade. Um, instead of just leaving that part of the garden bare, why don't they just fill it up with my uh, red currant? So that was a really good method that I found that actually worked. Um, so I managed to get people to um, buy through that. And also I said about my gooseberries. Now, the gooseberries I have, uh, they're Wynnum's Industry, um, and they're the red ones, and they're really, um, they're really tasty and they put on nice fruit and I just told them you know uh, most gooseberries are um, you know m most gooseberries are, you know green and uh, sour I think it was Wyndham's industry I, w I can't remember I'll check again later but I said you know most gooseberries are really sour and green even when they're ripe and if they're ripe they're just a bit too juicy and flavourless uh, some of them well, these, they're sweet all the time, and that's what it is. I'm just telling them the bare truth. Tell tell your customers the minimum, uh, no, the maximum truth you can get up to. Um, give them lots of facts, and it'll make them much more interested to buying. And they said, 
okay, I'll come back later, put, but put that as a reserve. And then they would come back later, buy it and pick it off. And I was getting about £40 then an hour, so I got um, for, uh, £80 in uh, two hours, because it finished just, uh, just after three, and I was still making lots of sales when everybody were going, because I was just catching people out, hey, would you be interested in um, some soft fruits? Some people would already have them, but I managed to persuade one person, even though he apparently had acres um, full of, uh, not acres, but he had a whole like big garden full of soft fruit. He said, he, um, I managed to persuade him to come back and he brought three plants off me and it was just so easy. So just basically to recap, just t don't let the customers come to you, you go to your customers. Just tell them, oh, um, would you be interested in any soft fruit or would you be interested in any uh, organic vegetables or something like that? And then tell them some good facts like red currants grow really well and still taste um, sweet in the shade. And that, that definitely make, can like, make your profits go up 65% easily. Um, and that's what I found out and that's what I uh, want you to do. So just be open, don't be shy. Because uh, like, the first time, the first two people I asked, they both bought me, uh, bought something from me. And uh, that made my confidence and morale go up much higher. Uh, so I just would ask everybody, um, old, young, anybody, I would uh, ask. And uh, like 75% of them, amazingly, would, would buy my uh, produce, which is really good. So that's exactly what you need to do with your plant nursery when you're going to like car boot sales. Just just go to your go to your customers and ask them, and you're much more likely to get um, a sale and a profit out from that way. So I hope that video was interesting and it gave you some more ideas on what to do. Uh, go check out Garden Frugal's channel here and Real Vince Samuels' channel here. Two great channels. I'll just go check them out and subscribe to them and also I've just ordered a time lapse camera which will be coming soon and uh, there'll be some good pictures, uh, strawberries ripening and like plants growing and I can't wait to do that. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you again soon, um, hopefully on Friday, fingers crossed if there's nothing else on, goodbye.